JD called me a few weeks ago, and, and we was talking about, and we, we were talking, we were serious about uh, 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 Paul Downing had passed away, uh, Honey Dunn had just passed away, several of the bass singers had passed away, Tommy Thompson, so JD called me, and, and uh, he said, uh, Oh, buddy, he said, we got to be careful. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, all these bass singers passing away. I said, JD, take it easy. They're talking about bass singers. Don't you know you ain't got nothing to worry about? I said, and, I, and, I, and I kept on talking and wrote, wrote, wrote them real good. I said, J.D., so don't worry. Us singers that one's got to worry. People like you, you're safe. You don't have nothing to worry. And it was real I stopped talking real quiet on the phone. Finally, J.D. said, why do I talk to you? <laughs> I, th I thought I thought that was my pacemaker ringing. <laughs> no, no, sit, sit out, sit down, sit, sit down, JD. Sit, somebody hold him back. He he's older than dirt. <laughs> years ago, uh, we worked at Dayton, Ohio. Uh, this is like years ago. I was at the Blue Ridge Quartet back then. So we worked with uh, JD in the Blackwoods. They come off stage, and I told JD, I said, JD. I've been telling people all over the country that there ain't nobody I hadn't rather hear sing than you. <laughs> well, he misunderstood me. And no, he, we were back, to, back, it was in Spartanburg. We were talking, he said, who is your favorite bass singer? And I said, uh, well, who sung with Leroy? Asel Sword. Asel Sword. Yeah. And I said, man, that guy could sing. He said, well, this may seem funny to you, but J.D., you're my favorite. He said, uh, I don't know of anybody I hadn't rather hear sing than you. <laughs> And I almost cried. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, that, he, he, that George Johns. He had would, big tears in his eyes. Oh, yeah. And, and every time he'd get a chance, he'd say, uh, well, J.D., I still say, trying to get me to understand what he was saying, he said, I still say, I don't know of anybody I had to do other thing. And uh, I went on and cried about how much George loved my singing. <laughs> then we got to Dayton the next week on Friday night. <laughs> And we met in the hall, and George come up to me and said, Gee, let me tell you one more time. <laughs> he said, I don't know of anybody I had rather... He said, I don't know of anybody I had rather hear sing than you. I said, George, will you run that by me one more time? <laughs> if, if you said what I think you said, I'm going to wear you out, boy. He said, he said, you've been laughing at me for six months. I don't know why Bill always sets me uh, near J.D. Uh, he, he, he can't sing. He can't stay on pitch, and it bothers me. I always tried to help George. And I started the stamps. Uh, I give George a chance to sing baritone. He ain't low enough to sing bass, but I feel sorry for him. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, uh, he sang through his nose. Anybody's able to make a living through that nose beyond me, but uh, makes me sick. I'm sick and tired of every time the stamps do a, a record. Uh, uh, they call me in and have me redo nearly everything J.D. sings. All his all pitch singing. And thing about it is, he don't even know it. He think he thinks I'm him. <laughs> he can't sing like that, but he don't know it. Bless his heart. How to fly. He's old. He, he just ought to hang it up and let them young guys go on. He, he's ruined every group he's ever been in. He, he calls the Blackwood Brothers to disband. You know. The Masters Five, that when he worked with them, uh, he calls Jake to have a heart attack. James had a stroke. Uh, he killed Elvis. I mean, the buy, he's bad news. George spent four to five minutes fixing his hair, then forgot it and left it at the hotel. Katie said to me the other night, said, 
Did you hear how my voice filled that room tonight? I said, yeah, I seen a bunch of people leaving to make room for it. We was walking down the street, and some people recognized us, and we knew it, and the guy was across the street. He ran across the street so excited, and ran up to J.D. and said, he said, does, does anybody ever tell you that you look like it? Feller that sings bass with the stamps. And J.D. kind of squared back and said, well, yeah, they do. And the guy said, makes you kind of mad, don't it? <laughs> when J.D. was born, his parents were so disappointed. They was hoping for children. I love old people. George, I remember the day that you came by the house. 